vlog series. Uh, I'm here at the airport after some major delays yesterday on my way to my favorite spot, Concourse C. Even though I'm taking off from Concourse T, have a few hours to kill. Yes. So this is my hotel room that I stayed in all night and so it has a beautiful view of uh, the airport over there. I've been able to watch airplanes take off. Last night, I just decided to kick back and forget about my travels for the rest of the night because I was just overwhelmed. But I ended up having to wait for my luggage for a long time. And because I had a hotel voucher, I decided to check in first and go back and try to get my luggage. And that worked out really well. Uh, I went in and talked to uh, the baggage claim people, and they were incredibly rude. And they told me, uh, do you have a claim check? Do you have a claim check? I kept trying to tell them what they told me, and he kept interrupting me. Yes, I understand that, but do you have a claim check? So I dug in my bag after he showed me what it was, and he said, yeah, it'll be up shortly. And it wasn't there, so I just decided to check into my room. And I came in here yesterday, and I, was, I said, I'm mad. I'm mad, 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 mad. But luckily enough, I was able to drop off one bag and go back and get back, get on the shuttle after uh, it came back and I was able to uh, retain my second bag which I checked in uh, last night. It took an hour to 45 minutes, actually 45 minutes to an hour, uh, but it felt longer than that. But needless to say I got my bag and came back here and decided to uh, flip on TBS because they have endless episodes of the Big Bang Theory, which is one of my favorite shows. So I watched Big Bang last night, and I decided to kick back and order a pizza, and so um, I'm now rebooked on this flight, which is uh, delayed again for another uh, hour and 40 minutes, which is okay with me because I can go and sit and take my book and watch an airplane take off, but um, I'll be there four hours before this takeoff, but... Um, I looked at the map of the turbulence, and it looks like uh, Chicago is going to be open today, and it looks like uh, we should be out of the way of some of the, the heavy rains and the storms. We just, we might get a bunch of turbulence, and so I have a good feeling I'll be up there tonight, and I'll be back on Saturday, because uh, yesterday uh, really took a toll on me. gate now after uh, doing a recheck in getting my bag resettled and then uh, standing in line at security um, I'm kicking myself today again for not contacting TSA cares which I should have done but it's all good because today there seems to be a much fresher feeling I mean, yesterday it was a zoo in here but today it just feels a little more relaxing than yesterday I mean yesterday was a zoo so Without further delay, I went and checked um, the status. So far, it looks like we're still uh, go for 3:17 uh, uh, p.m. instead of 1:30. So, as I said, I have a few hours to kill. Uh, I'm going to Concourse C now. Take two. Looks like we're good to go this time. So, a tablet you need to download the latest United apps.
get the gate but luckily it wasn't the, a nightmare of a time where we sat out on the runway uh, like in 2010 when I flew back from Vegas uh, when I was 28 years old but uh, man a living uh, the customer service agent here uh, was grouchy what she's like yes and I said what carousel are, are we at and she goes four she's like, she, I don't know if she made that face but <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm on my way to go meet my friend, and he's been following me on Wrong Planet, which is for people with Asperger's Syndrome since day one. Check it out, wrongplanet.net. And uh, I started doing my vlogs, and he's, he found out about them, and he really likes my vlogs, and he's the one that invited me up here. So uh, I don't know if he wants to uh, be interviewed, because he told me he's camera shy, but... Um, but yeah, anyway, needless to say, this airport is beautiful. I love the open skylights. This is where they filmed the movie Home Alone, one and two. And even as a kid, I was fascinated with the uh, architecture here. So here I am at O'Hare. Dr. Grandin, I mean, I absolutely loved hearing your experiences. Space experience, yes. Uh, you're on the Starship Enterprise, even in the next generation. I haven't seen enough, so I don't know. But I don't really get Star Trek in here. Um, I get more of a feeling from the movie. Wally! 